It could find out this week if Exxon will be allowed to transport more than 5,000 trucks a month loaded with crude oil along our coastline. It is one option to consider while the plane's All-American pipeline is down. Repair work is expected to take months. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palmentary joins us live. And John, opponents spoke to county leaders about the plan today. And we're overlooking Highway 101. This would be one of the routes, possibly, that those tankers would be on. This is a very emotional issue, and some of those who are opposed to this truck tankering proposal by Exxon went to the Board of Supervisors today, then rallied at the courthouse saying, this is only a temporary pipeline disruption. This is not an emergency. And they went on to say that if this plan goes through, the number of trucks on the highway would pose an incredible risk to the public. It would be an unbelievable trip. It would be catastrophic. Whether it's drilling or trucking, this group is against the current oil issues facing Santa Barbara County. And oil now! And oil now! In a midday rally in Santa Barbara, serious concerns were raised over the new ExxonMobil plan to possibly truck oil from this area. Exxon has three platforms in a slowdown mode because the Plains All-American Pipeline is broken and the repair plan could take months. A permit request to move about 5,000 truckloads of oil a month from Santa Barbara County is being reviewed by the Energy Division. For now, the exact destination is not known, but the trucks could stay on the freeway to a refinery or go to a facility that loads it onto a train or into another segment of the pipeline system. Between the pipeline rupture, the ocean and beach contamination, and now the trucking plan, the big picture has been dark for those who thought the best precautions were in place. The fact that we were reassured over and over again that we had safe infrastructure in this county and that it was very unlikely that we'd ever see an oil spill like that again. To have this happen in 2015 is very shocking. Trucking to the north of Refugio through the Gaviota area also raises serious questions. This is probably the worst place to put 200 trucks carrying, you know, full of oil. Um, you've got the S-curve going up Gaviota, you've got the heavy, heavy winds, um, you've got creeks in the area, um, you've got the safety considerations, so there's a whole lot of problems with this proposal. This letter to the county from Santa Barbara Mayor and Congressional Candidate Helene Schneider warns of, quote, safety risks from oil tankers. She goes on to say, quote, the economic and environmental consequences of an accident could be catastrophic to the city of Santa Barbara and the region. And in that uh, Mayor Schneider letter, in that she is a congressional candidate, we reached out to two others in that running, and Kacho Ashashian said he is confident proper safety measures are going to be taken if the permit is approved by the county. Supervisor Salud Carbajal, also a candidate, says he will look carefully at all evidence to see how concerns about impacts to our community, safety, local neighborhoods, and natural environment are assessed. We'll continue to follow this story this week. That decision on the Exxon trucking plan could come by the end of the week. Reporting live overlooking Highway 101 this evening, I'm John Paul Terry, News Channel 3.